Hello, this is Pete from Divi Engine. Here's a update to Divi Mega Menu. We've added a, a nice little new menu style, new feature. So we thought we'd just quickly show what it is. We call this the you know, the Mega uh, the Mega drop down. So um, we've shown you this one how to you know how to replicate um, the the Divi menu, but this one is something a bit different, where it allows you to to create you know multiple menu items that drop down and have secondary and even third um, like layers sub menus so this is the way it works just to quickly show you you can also have it so it, it goes there or you can have it so it goes on the left hand side if you wanted to um, but we, I think I think we think this this looks pretty neat uh so let's let's check it out. I mean obviously that image is I just put there but you could push that down um or create an image that hard so you know this is just cool to show you. So the way it works is uh we've created a module called Mega Dropdown. And as you can see in this mega menu item I have three menu drop downs and then the one image. So you can see in the in the mega menu we have mega drop down, mega drop down, mega drop down an image. In the mega drop down settings, you one select the menu. So you create the menu in appearance menus. Uh and then there's various things you can do. Uh so the first thing we'll do is head over to menus and I've created these two menus, one called drop down menu, one called drop down menu two. If you want to know how to create one, you just click on create new menu and then you just add the items to your menu and click save menu. So here I've added accessories, hats and beanies as a sub menu item and then hats, beanies, caps as a sub menu item of that and then it just, uh, so you can see the kind of layout. So if we have a look at this we have accessories, hats and beanies and you click on that and then um, it, the hats, beanies, caps come in. Now by default it will just it will actually appear like this casual and then the third one will appear on the right hand side but we've given the ability to have it so that it it, it overlays on top and how do you, and how you create that is if you go on um if you scroll to the top click on screen options and then enable css class to the secondary menu item add dmm dash overlay class. See if I remove that, this is how it will appear. Accessories, hats and beanies, hats, beanies and caps. But I want to have it so that it overlays so it keeps everything nice and neat and I add the class dmm-overlay. That's a class name that we've given to, for, for this specific style. And then you can see that when you click on it, it comes in. Okay, so that's um, that's it really, and then uh, I've created another one of you at the, the drop down menu too, and that's just got another one just to kind of show you, and that's this one of you, Jack's top shirts. So going back to the settings, the module we've created, and there you can set the the max width of the menu and sub menus. So this is the max width of the sub menu here and that, you know. So you kind of want to set it over there to what you want appear from right or left so um, let me just for for just to show you I can say I want the second one to appear on the left hand side see so that goes out that way and then this one goes out that, w that way okay um, the next setting we can kind of look at is the parent menu icon so uh, this is the icon that you have uh, over there. You can change it if you go to elegant the uh, elegant themes icons. Scroll down until you find the icons that you like. And basically, uh, it's if you look at um, set the icon code by going to da 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 and scroll down so you see the icons put the code that appears after the X so for example if you want this or uh, let's say you want this one over here 
you just put 45. And the same as the back menu. Then in the designs tab, you can change the color and the font size. Change the menu text size, text color, add some shadow. Um, other things you can do is you know add a border, add some box shadow to your men to your menu. So I've added a box shadow over here, so you can see the shadow that appears. And that's it, ready. So um, I guess just this creates a whole new way to kind of display our menu items, especially when you have a lot to show. And the beauty of Divi Mega Menu is you can add different things in there. So you can say, okay, well, actually, I just want two to appear. Then over here, I want a slider. Or if you're using um, Divi Body Commerce, we have a, uh, a carousel for the product. So you could add a product carousel in there. Um, yeah, so I hope this has been helpful. And then obviously, sorry, just to talk about the different settings below. You've seen all these settings below, so it's all the same as in... Uh, as if you create another menu so we haven't changed anything like that. Okay so I hope this is helpful and uh, any questions please get in touch and yeah thanks so much again for all the support and we look forward to the future. Have a great day.